Hello everybody, I am back and doing another review, and today I'm going to be reviewing um, a Bionicle I got for Christmas, um, Makuta Teradax. This is a set I really wanted for a long time, and it's, and it's, I finally have it. It's very nice, and the set was is exactly like 10 years old now. It's 2013, released in 2003. It's a 10 year old set. But I got it. Um, first off, I got this set pre-used. The box was already open, but all the pieces were there, and none of the pieces broke when I tried to put them together. Though there was one piece that was bothersome, and it was the ball joint for the head. The ball joint for the head was very, very loose. And um, this not so much this the socket piece, but the ball piece. The ball piece, the head was always falling off, because the ball piece always never gripped onto the cross axle. But So I put... So I swapped out the ball pieces. I put took the um I took the uh, ball piece from another set and put it in him and took that uh, that ball piece and put it in the other set. But still it's not so much a problem with the set, it's a problem with the piece and the pieces and you can obviously order more pieces that aren't like that. But anyway, now let's get to the review. Um so here's the box. Um the bottom is already open as you can see and it shows some wear on it. Hey, at least it came with the box. Um, you have Bionicle, you have the Mask of Shadows, and um, the um, and the Mask of Light. There, you have Makuta in his pose, Lego, and it's ages nine and up. No one cares. Um, eight five nine three one hundred ninety nine pieces. Um, yeah, on the back, you have the function, the he the mask function. Combination model, and yeah, it's, I don't know what that is, it's probably some kind of Rahi, because just to let you know that most of the combination models are in fact storyline canon. I mean, Hero Factory, not so much, but in Bionicle, it's majorly canon. Um, here's the instructions. He instructions are pretty similar to the box. On the back, you don't have that Lego win ad. You have an, a huge Bionicle ad. You have an ad for Bionicle the game, the Mask, Mask of Light the movie, and the website back then. And you can flip through the instructions, shows you how to build him. And shows you how to build the Rahi too. And you have an ad for the Rachi and the Krata. Um, Alright, so yeah, but anyway, now let's move on to the set itself. Now, yeah, now it's, now, um, this set I really do like, um, but there are still some pros and cons, pros are good, cons are bad, but, anyway, um, for, so let's start with the pros, first pro would obviously be the function, you have, um, this little, you have gear action, gear action is always good with Bionicle, you have this little, like, tube here, turn it and his whole upper body rotates, and, He's supposed to have his staff holding it in both hands, and so when he does do it, it does this. This is actually his Coley staff. It's not so much a weapon, it's a Coley staff. Um, but still, it's so he can use it as a weapon. And ironically, I saw in Takanuva this. I think, I don't know if this is true or not, but I think the two staff, staff heads are supposed to be bent forward, not up. I'll get on that later. Um. Anyway, another pro would obviously be the colors. You have like a gunmetal, you have gunmetal, and you have red. Um. Ironically, in the movie, he looks nothing like the way he does in the movie. His he his mask doesn't. His and in the movie, he's like all like a dark red, rusted color. He doesn't really have much gunmetal on him. But yeah, but yeah. Um. Another pro would obviously be where you could you could store Krata on him. I don't really know why you would want Krata in his knees, but I don't have any Krata, so yeah, it's really not that worth it to me. Um. Yeah. Um. Another pro would obviously be um. This isn't really such a big deal now, but back then you finally have bendable limbs. You it's only in the arms, not in the legs, but you do have bendable elbows. Another pro would obviously be the mask. You have a very nice mask. It's also dual featured. You have this. You have this face here, this face, and flip it around. You have this face. Now I think I know what this is supposed to represent. This this new face here, this face here, is supposed to represent Takanuva because 
here's the Mask of Light, and you can obviously see it looks very similar. You can obviously see it looks similar. Um, so this is the Takanuva face. Um, this is the Makuda face, and um, yeah, but yeah, it's very nice. Um, you. So yeah, it's, this is a nice set, but it still has some cons. Um, first con would probably be, and this is a huge one. Everyone's saying, including LJ from the Three Virtues, um, is that you have no posability in the knees, and you have no posability in the legs at all, except for up here. It's on a ratchet joint, yes, but still, it's no posability in the knees, no posability in the ankles. It's really, it's all one piece. There's no posability at all. It's yeah, and pretty much the Rock Shi also had bendable, also had bendable limbs, but they, had, but the Rock Shi were the opposite of Makuda. Makuda has bendable elbows, but not bendable knees. Um, the Rock Shi had bendable knees, but not bendable elbows. So that's kind of the opposite. But yeah, um, <clears throat> another con would probably be um, probably be the fact that he has blue eyes. Um, because in the movie, he had red eyes, but I don't know why they would give him blue eyes. It's, like, ice blue. But I do think that the re they did give him a red Toamata head, just so it looks like he has red eyes from the Bakuda face. And the Takanuva face, I don't know why they gave him blue eyes. I, I honestly don't know, but, yeah, um, I don't know. Um... Um, another con, like I said before, would probably be the fact that I think these spear... Dual spears, spearheads are supposed to be bent forward. Again, it's a holy staff, not a spear. On Takaduva, I know that it was supposed to be bent forward. On Makuda, it was hard to tell. I don't really know for sure. I'm, it's kind of a 50-50 way. Post in the comments if you know, um, if you know from watching the movie. But I do know for a fact that on Takanuva, the spearhead, his holy staff. Um, spearhead was supposed to be bent forward, not up. Um, I know for a fact on Takanuva. Speaking of Takanuva, um, for hands you have the ma ma silver masks of light. Um, silver masks of light. Um, you, um, now the, f and they do. I can kind of see how they look like hands. Like it looks like he has fingers here. That that's kind of nice. How you're not just having the old Toamat Toametru Toamata hands. Because the Tomata hands um, don't look like hands at all. Um, yeah, um, but these do look a little bit like hands. Um, we do, still don't have the Torian hands yet, but still it looks a little bit like hands. Now, this, this set did not come with one piece that I heard it was supposed to come with, but I do have the piece now from a Bricklink order. Um, let me just get it for you. Alright, so I'm back, and here's the limited edition piece that it was supposed to come with, but it didn't. I'm not entirely sure if the set does come with this. Again, post in the comments if you know, is this Mask of Light. Um, now, this Mask of Light is cl looks clear from the camera. I don't know if you can see on camera, but it has a goldish tinge to it, but it's mostly clear. I think this set was supposed to come with it, but it didn't, because again, it was pre-used. But I don't know. Um, this set does but so there's four versions of the Mask of Light, four colors that have been released. There's the normal gold version, there's the silver version, there's this limited edition version, and there's one more version that was released only one time in history. Um, it was a platinum version of the mask, and it was like had like a chrome color, reflective color. And I do know actually... I actually have talked to the person who had it, and he said it's worth like a hundred thousand dollars or more because of how, because not so much how, of how rare it is, that's one thing, but because it's made of platinum, and platinum is worth a lot of money. Um, so yeah, I, so yeah, I have three out of the four versions of the Mask of Light, and I obviously, I bet that guy's gonna try and sell that mask anyway for money, because it's... So yeah, it's probably gonna be sold over and over and over again, just each one more greedy than the last, but... Hey, I do have three out of the four versions of the Kenohi Evoki. Now here's one other piece that did come with the set, um, but... Um, but, um, is in fact a real piece, and it's rumored to be myth, is this gold mask of shadows. Now... 
This is not a painted piece. This is a real piece. It is the same color of gold as of the um, original Evoki. You can see there. Um, yeah. This piece did not come with any of the Bakuda sets. It did not come with him, so don't think that it would. It came with the, I think, it was one of the play sets from um, 2005, the Hordika line. It came, I think it was the Battle of Metronui it came with. This gold piece. It's... I got it off a of brick leg, but, um, um, this piece, this, and now, this piece I did get just because of its value and plus of the fact that, and plus of the fact that this piece is a good piece for making a Takuda Nuva mock. Because there is a Takuda Nuva combiner set for Makuda and Takanuva. The problem is, is that it's not, it look, it's basically, it looks like a revamp of Makuda. It doesn't look like it has Takanuva in it at all. So this would be good to use as his mask, and what you can basically do is just replace the Makuda arms with the Takanuva arms, replace this shoulder armor here with the gold Nuva shoulder armor, and replace his mask with th this mask, and put this face forward, the Takanuva face. So yeah, that's it's pretty easy to make that mock, but still, it's... Still, I... But still, um, this, it's the Takuda Nuva mock that the combiner set isn't that good of a combiner. It does, it's not really movie representative. But anyway, um, this set is pretty good. I highly recommend picking it up. It's very expensive now and hard to find. And obviously, it'll be a miracle if you find it in stores. One person did show me a place where you could get every single picture of a store that had every single Bionicle set. Lucky for anyone who found it, who was a Bionicle fan. But anyway, um, um, the, I really do like this set. It's a very good set. Um, and one more thing is that um, one more thing. Um, is that um, so you often see. It. You might be able to see in my uh, some of my other videos jokes about Rudaka and Makuda being in love. That's mainly that was based off of Web of Shadows, where if you watch it, you would obviously see that Rudaka that Rudaka was basically being loyal to Makuda. Now, just to let you know, is that um in Web of Shadows, um both Rudaka and Sidorak were were um servants of Makuda, even though it was only shown that Rudaka was um, but. And Rudaka was actually going to be on Sidorak's back, trying to free him, free Makuda. In fact, it even says in the Bionicle Encyclopedia that the only person Rudaka cares for is Makuda. Even though everyone claims that Rudaka is in love with Fakama, even, and this isn't obviously non-canon, there's no love in the Bionicle universe, but this is non-canon, but... And when everyone claims that it's Fakama who she loves, it's not really true because it says in the Bionicle Encyclopedia that the only person who Daka cares for is Makuda, which is him. And and plus she and plus in the end Rudaka turned against Fakama in the end, well actually Fakama turned against Rudaka, but still. Um but anyway way, um that's that, and um, I'm going to rate him now. I rate him a nine out of ten. It's de he's definitely good, but obviously you have blocky um, legs. He is very good, easy to stand up though. It's very easy to stand up because of it, but it's not. But still, it's not that good for posability. But anyway, I'm signing off now, and goodbye.